I'm Dr. Steve Nissen, and uh, I'd like to talk to you about the Apollo trial, which is uh, presented at the American College of Cardiology meeting and simultaneously published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The purpose of Apollo was to evaluate in an early phase trial, this is a phase one trial, the safety and the efficacy of a, an approach to lowering lipoprotein little a. Lipoprotein little a is a fairly common disorder. About 20% of the global population have elevated levels, and it's strongly associated with atherosclerotic vascular disease and aortic stenosis. And it has heretofore been essentially an untreatable disorder. So what Apollo studied was a drug known as SLN360, still has a numerical name, although it's going to probably have a, a, you know, another name relatively soon. Uh, and this drug is designed to lower LPA by a very interesting mechanism. There is a gene that makes apolipoprotein A. Apolipoprotein A is an essential component of lipoprotein little a, and it's actually rate limiting. It's a, a determinant of what, the, of what the blood levels are gonna look like. So you, if you wanna lower levels, you've gotta essentially turn off the gene. And the way this therapy works, it's known as a short interfering RNA. It's a small piece of RNA that is given by subcutaneous injection there's a sugar attached to it called Galnac, which helps to transport it into the liver, which is where apolipoprotein A is made. And this short interfering RNA combines with and degrades the messenger RNA that codes for the apolipoprotein A protein. If you don't make apolipoprotein A, you can't make LP little a. The study was small, it was only 32 uh, uh, participants, uh, eight got placebo, and four groups got uh, different doses, 30 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 300 milligrams, or 600 milligrams. And they were then followed for 150 days, that's five months. Uh, fairly frequent visits where their lipoprotein little a, Blood levels were measured, actually measured in concentration or nanomoles per liter. All of these participants had elevated levels above 150 nanomoles per liter. And that's a level that everybody is, you know, quite comfortable is associated with increased risk. The uh, results were very striking. First, there, was no, there were no major safety issues with the therapy. The efficacy, however, was quite extraordinary. At the top dose, there was a 98% reduction in lipoprotein little a, and at the next highest dose, 300 milligrams, there was a 96% reduction. Now, these reductions occurred at the nadir between 30 and 60 days after administration, but they were persistent. And if you go out to 150 days, the top dose still had an 81% reduction and the next highest dose, a 71% reduction. The reason that this happens is that the siRNA, after it degrades messenger RNA, it actually is recycling itself and it goes on and it degrades additional messenger RNA uh, that's being produced. And so at a very long duration of action, many months, this is only a single dose. So this is a therapy where a single subcutaneous dose can last a long time. There were a few adverse effects, uh, some um, moderate uh, grade injection site reactions, typical of what happens when you inject an RNA therapeutic. So this drug is now one of three drugs that are in development, uh, one of which is actually in phase three, works by a somewhat different mechanism. We are very encouraged 
that after decades of attempting to find therapies that could lower lipoprotein little a, we're now on the verge of several therapies making it uh, to market so that they can be offered to patients. Uh, these are patients that often have myocardial infarction or stroke, sometimes even in their 40s or 30s. Uh, they have premature aortic stenosis, and we cannot treat them now. Statins don't work. Lifestyle alteration doesn't work. But if you can prevent the product of the LPA gene from making this abnormal particle, you can lower levels dramatically. What we've not yet shown is whether lowering levels, even by this 96 to 98 percent reduction, does that lowering actually reduce the risk of events? That research is continuing. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a study in phase three and other studies moving along, and we'll be moving this therapy along as quickly as we can.